side on the coastal front. And uh, this is tomorrow's challenge up above, going up over the monument, all the way round to Aberystwyth, and then down through into Llanresford. <laughs> Yeah, so this is uh, the exact spot that we uh, finished the route yesterday. Uh, weather conditions were a lot more favourable, but they're not too bad today. As long as we don't get absolutely hammered on, we'll be alright. Yeah. So, uh, we got the prize, the prize of a port lunch when we finish. Yeah, and this one we don't we don't think we're going to need a map to do. This, this one's straightforward, right. so we'll see how we get on with that. cinema We're heading up that way towards the monument and uh, we've got a little bit of rain at the moment but it's not too not too threatening we're coming to the end of the road and uh, up there is the path to the monument but we haven't seen any uh, coastal path signs yet and uh, there's our surroundings It's quite, uh, it's quite nice, so uh, hopefully that's uh, going to blow down this way. Here's the coastal path sign, see if I can do the gate today. Yes, easy. Yeah, it's an exercise to see if it works. <sighs> Going up. Right, we're up on top and the rain is coming in pretty uh, thickly now. Obviously we've got to win. That's a more memorial that I've seen a lot of times going past and never visited. So this is great. In the distance there we've got the, uh, the next set of cliffs we've got to go to. And uh, yeah, uh, everything's getting enveloped in cloud. And uh, yeah, a lot of incoming rain. Hope it kind of blows itself out. So we've got the Coast Guard down there doing a few manoeuvres. I just 
despite the weather, which has cleared up slightly, but the winds are all over the place. We've got no idea what it's going to do, but we're uh, we're prepared for this, aren't we? We're all. Oh my god, that's so slippy, it's just rock. Okay. It's just rock. Oh, ridiculous. Right, how do we do this? You can't just... Jesus. Sideways step in, I think. Such a short distance as well. Oh god, that is slippy. Don't tempt fate. <sighs> Up here. And this is the reward we get for uh, getting them here. That is uh, that's a pretty insane section of cliff. It's absolutely flat. Down and up again, and then on the other side down to a place, uh, I think it's pronounced Wahog, uh, where there's a big, uh, Big strip sticks out. This uh, song um, uh, begins with S. I can't remember what it is, but it's a huge uh, strip of land that supposedly uh, jets out into the to uh, some kind of underwater old uh, legendary town or something. Sir. Yeah. There you go. Needs to be brightening up in front. Or is it just down to bright yellow water? Or orange? It's orange, isn't it? Steady going. I'm taking it steady. Drop down again and we're approaching the hog, if that's how it's pronounced. And we're gonna take a look at the uh, the lime kiln over there and uh, yeah, check that out as well. Ah, yeah, so this is the uh, one of the lime kilns. There's another one around the, uh, the other side here. Somebody's having a nice uh, shelter in. And then... Uh, it was like, so, uh, yeah, centuries ago these would have been used to uh, fire uh, limestone and produce uh, fertilizers for the uh, agriculture. And um, also, uh, yeah, for the uh, cement for, uh, well, the mortar for building uh, buildings. And there's the sand stretching out. Not quite sure how long it is, but it does go a little bit further than that when the uh, tide's out. But um, I think they have traced, traced it underwater and it does go ooh, quite a long way. Natural causeway, of course. And uh, this is where we've come from. So from this angle, you can see the waves hitting the sand. You can see how far out it does actually go. So we've just come round a bit of a headland, small one to go, and then it's down into Claric Bay and then up on those cliffs. And uh, you can see it in the background, the first glimpse that we've actually had of the uh, headland at Aberystwyth with the monument. And then uh, after we stop there for a bit of lunch, we'll be going further on. You can see the uh, mast at uh, Morva Beacon. And uh, we'll be going over there and uh, down the other side there along some cliffs, uh, finishing off at Hlanristad, which you can't really see at the moment. Just 
took off straight in front of us. A lovely bridge. Special. Oh. Lovely stuff. There you go, it's got everything. Right, leaving Claret Bay. And uh, we've got to find the signs that are going to take us uh, there. So, let's find up there. Right, that's where we've come from. And of course, where are we going? One mile apparently. Up! And up we go. Right, over this hill we've got Aberystwyth. Dom's got a uh, bit of a pain in his leg. So we're right just there. there. Just there. Do it again. Just there. there. So I was going to call in at a chemist to see if it needs strapping up or whatever because we've still got many many miles to go on this uh, this week so taking no chances and I want to get into Aberystwyth because one of my favourite cake shops in the world is in there so onwards and upwards. I don't see it but there's somebody fishing down there. Right on the edge. Right on the edge yeah. Rather than me. Funicular Railway in the UK and uh, here it is. That's where we've just come from, Constitution Hill, uh, straight down we're on the uh, promenade. Well Jan, there's not that many people out here today is there? I think this is the least we've ever seen on this stretch. Weekend, yeah. Glen Gower was in there when uh, we came to Bruce with uh, last October with Derek Little. Well, it's been so windy of late, look, that they've even taken their uh, taken their flags down. It's normally littered with flags of different countries down here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Very, very obscure little states or island states. It's an interesting selection. gone into the chemist to get some medical advice so uh, find out if his leg will be able to make it for the rest of the trip right there's the uh, medical update yeah so here's the outcome um yeah i've got stuff going on around the back here it's the lead leg for going uphill and it's really pulling down there it's very sore so um i've got to treat it with a video old dp uh, and if that doesn't work, I've got to get the, the tube grip on. But because we're covering so many hills, I've, I've just had to buy a new stick. Oh! Um, to, to just help pull me up so that this leg isn't doing all the work. Uh, but the bad news is that if it does get any more painful, we've got to stop because it could be a muscle tear. Right. Drama in Aberystwyth. It's not just that though, is there? I mean, bloody bakers is shot. Yeah, that's, that's the worst tragedy of all. Oh, yeah, the Chelsea bums from there are just incredible. But at least I've got um, a bit of live music going on around the corner. A bit of jazz. But, yeah, blimey. Oh, it is what it is. It is what it is. The weather conditions at the moment, it's, uh, 
it's light rain it's a bit, a bit drizzly really isn't it yeah. it looks we can't decide whether it looks setting or not but the sky is pretty much uh yeah gray and white it's heavy yeah so uh yeah we've just no no one's uh no one's happy. Although when we were in Borth, we did see a man in a van who was had his surfboard ready, wasn't he? He was putting on his wetsuit, getting out to surf. Um, anyway, yeah, so we've been past the pier. This is sort of old, old university buildings. And uh, we've got the uh, castle and the uh, headland to get round. Um, I'm going to carry on until we get to the foot of the big hill, and then I'm going to try and get up the big hill, and we'll see where we go from there. Make or break. Stay tuned for more updates. <laughs> Shop shut and your leg goes. It's not that good. We're carrying on. We don't give up that easily. Chances. Can't risk it. He did say if it gets worse, then it can lead to an actual muscle tear. And basically, uh, you know, we're totally reliant on public transport to get back home, let alone the walking and the hiking to get where we're going to. And um, basically, if I knack my leg up, I can't even get home. So, so we'll take no chances. Take no chances. Yeah. So for the time being, until I don't know, medical analysis is done by a professional um this is the end for now for now cheers cheers well, we did both travel this way in that horrible weather so we've done some it today we did and the bonus thing is that we did do that well easily without a map so yeah, that's, that's We've done 25 miles in two days. No, well, two and a half. No, one and a half. One and a half days, yeah. So, yeah. We haven't done summer. And we've got wet. Yeah. It's very wet out there now. We would have got um, killed going up that mountain. So, part of us is relieved, but not really. <laughs> not really. We're going to go back to our luxurious accommodation. See if Don can walk, Don can walk to the pub and have a nice big dinner. strapping on his leg from a previous tournament we've got some interest from another third party there's a there's an invader on the pitch <laughs> no no. no! Oh, she'll go for anything. Uh. <laughs> 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 I 
se sikerült tombó. Are you ready? I'm gonna press it. Oh, you have been so brave going for all 15 questions, but I'm afraid it's correct answers that count. And that answer is correct. Get us! You have won a million. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally. Now, now what, what happens? Are we getting glitter from the ceiling? Do we unlock Clarkson now? <laughs> That's it! Where's my money? Play again. No. Thanks a million.